as an artist, you are a project manager. And I was like ready to release it. And I was like, oh no, now I need like cover art. Knowing when to talk about things and when not to talk about them. As a Christian uh, and as an artist, uh, sometimes you can get a little overwhelmed. You can kind of get uh, at your wits end because there's so much to do. Uh, so I wanted to kind of share uh, three things today that I've really uh, valued and learned as my time being an independent, kind of do-it-yourself kind of person, whether it comes to the art that I make, the videos that I shoot, the content that I shoot. Uh, I've had to learn a lot of different things. So I wanted to kind of share three, break down three steps and three concepts to kind of mastering your skill. Uh, and so top three things. Uh, the first is project management. Project management. Know how to break things down and research solutions. Um, as an artist, you are a project manager. You are constantly putting things out into the world, constantly doing things. Uh, and you need to know how to take a very big thing and break it down to its smallest, most viable component. The most viable thing that you can deliver that day. And so I, I learned this by kind of studying project management and learning about that. Um, I'm in a community called Entrepreneur that's taught me a lot about uh, just actual project management. There's a um, process called Scrum that I run on uh, the songs that we're working on, on the videos that we're making. And I say, hey, here's what I need. And I break it down to its MVP, its most viable product, if you will, um, the most, the smallest deliverable for that day in managing this giant project. And the reason you need that is because if you're just looking at this giant project, it, it's very easy to go, I don't know where to start. And so by studying project management and learning project management, you can kind of break that elephant down and eat it bite by bite, as they say. Uh, and so that leads me to uh, number two, uh, which the second one, the second skill to have is just a basic knowledge of like video and design. Uh, I remember when I first got started in making music, uh, not only did I have to learn like the making music part, I had to like learn how to mix and master and record. I literally had to learn how to press record. I was like watching YouTube videos and like how to record on my own. Uh, I started in like this like closet of a studio, but um, then I got everything mixed and mastered and I was like ready to release it. And I was like, oh no, now I need like cover art. Uh, how do I do that? Uh, so I had to like learn design and I had to learn like what looked good and what lo didn't look good. And then as I've uh, as Illumination Project has grown, I've had to like learn how to communicate through video and record video and do live streams like this. And so just a basic, not mastery, just a basic knowledge of this will kind of free you up creatively. Like you won't hit a roadblock and go, oh, I don't know how to design. Oh, I don't know how to make a video. Um, and trust me, YouTube is your friend. Tutorials are your friend. Uh, you can find a lot of how to do this, but just that basic knowledge, no matter what your medium is, there's more, more than likely you'll be designing things and you'll make, be making videos in today's day and age. Like rarely do painters just sell paintings to museums, right? You have to make things so that people know about what you're making. I talked about this in our last video, um, that if something's worth making to you, it's worth sharing. And one of the best ways to do that is through video. So learn video, learn how to master that. Uh, and hopefully it'll help you share what the Lord is doing in your life. And last but not least, um, get well versed in the art of obscurity. And this is probably the most important. So what is the art of obscurity? The art of obscurity is knowing when to talk about things and when not to talk about them. Knowing when to step into the light and when to step out of it. This is probably most important. For, for me as, as an artist and as a Christian is like knowing when I need to share this thing and knowing when I don't. Knowing when it's good to share this meditation or memo and when it's good to just like hold it back, to know that this is just for me. The Lord is working on me. It's not ready to be shared yet. You know, doing root work as an artist is really important. And I think in today's day and age, like with social media, it's so easy to just make everything content but not everything needs to be content. Things are just for you. The Lord is providing something just for you. And I know that might seem contradictory to what I just said as far as like sharing things, but that's the beauty of obscurity and knowing the art of obscurity, when to be clear about what the Lord's doing and put that out there for people to share and when not, when to hold it back. And so as a Christian even, even if you're just, if you're not an artist at all, I think it's good to know the art of obscurity. Know, learn when to talk, when to not talk, when to share what the Lord's doing in your life and when to know that he's still working on it and you might just need to be quiet and sit back and, 
and, and listen. So those are the three things that I encourage you as an artist, as a Christian, to really dive into, really master that. Because what matters most, especially with the art of obscurity, is having a stronger character than you do a craft. Yes, the craft matters, and the craft is how we get the, the message out to the kingdom and to the world, but character is the thing that's going to disqualify you first. So dive into the word, dive into community, like I said before. Practice that art of obscurity and really just let the word, the Lord work on your character and then through that, speak through your craft. Hey, thanks for watching that video. I uh, just want to say, I appreciate those of you that are following along with our journey and our process here on YouTube. Uh, if you haven't had a chance yet, hit the subscribe button so you can keep track and get notified uh, when we post new videos. I'm really looking forward to sharing more. Thanks.